Tonight at the Quick Speed Shop, we're learning how to use a manometer to check gas pressure. I forgot the step when I was filming part four of the finale of getting the, the heater going here, but I have a gauge, which right now is showing about 13 and a quarter, 13 and a half inches of water column. And I've got my, my booklet here for this heater on propane. They want a minimum of 12 inches of water column here at the manifold. And uh, I think a maximum 14. And then they want 10 here on the manifold side. So I can adjust the regulator outside a little bit by turning a screw in there. What it is, the regulator outside, just you take off the cap and there's a screw in it. You can just turn the screw and turn the pressure up or down. Um, so what I want to do now is I want to see if this gauge is accurate, we're going to pull this plug out of this gas valve right here. I'll zoom in a little bit. Zoom in action. Here we go. And we got a gas valve right here. And what I want to do is pull out this plug. And I've got a rubber hose somewhere for the manometer. Here it is. Basically, this, uh, this hose is going to screw into that port and then go on the manometer and we'll check the gas pressure. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close... Can you see where I am here? I'm going to close this valve, which is my uh, gas valve in my unit. Close that. And I'm going to open this. There's going to be just a little bit of propane is going to escape, but not too much. Set that down. Try not to lose it. So I'm going to take my manometer hose. Can you see way in the way? I'm going to take my manometer hose and screw it into that port. We'll stick this up on here. We're at zero right now, obviously. No, that just went up. That was the air pressure. It should bounce back out here in a second. We'll go ahead and we'll zero it out. I'm going to turn the gas valve back on. So right now we're showing 11. So our gauge is right at 11. And this is right at 11. So I'm going to turn the... So what I want... It said inlet pressure minimum 12. So I got 11 right now. So I've got 11 here. It said they wanted 12. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fire up the heater. I'll see what it drops. I'm going to fire up the heater and we'll see what it drops to. I'm just a shy lean. I'm just a shy lean. I could go out and I can adjust the outside regulator just a little bit to get bump my pressure up. Well, we can see here running 9.925 or just a hair lean. I could go in the other port. But I probably should bump it up outside just a little bit to get it up to the 12. And then we can go in the other port because I don't know if there's a drop across this valve. We'll go to the other port on the valve, which is over here. We can measure that. So we're just a little bit lean on the inside. Okay, as we see after it shut off, I'm back. Where am I? Over here. Whoop, whoop. I'm back to 11.08 uh, pounds. And that's verified by the gauge, 11 pounds. So I'm going to go outside to the regulator. And I'm going to remove the cap from the regulator. I'm going to turn it just a little bit clockwise, which should increase the pressure. I think I want to get this to 12. So let me go do that. And you can watch this. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so I went just a little bit on the gauge. We're up to 11.33. I'm going to go just a little bit more. We'll see if we can get it up closer to uh, almost 12. All right, so I went about half a round on the regulator. We're up to 11.4. 11, 11 Let me fire the heater up again. We'll see what it does.
See that made a difference. Now we're at about 10.19, 10.2. So turning that regulator up made a difference. I bet there's going to be a little bit of a drop on the side of that gas valve. Uh, let me let this run for a second, and I'll let it shut off, and then we'll move the port to the other side, and we'll try it again and see if we're down to exactly 10.0 or roughly like that on the other side of the gauge. All right, now I've gone on the, the uh, manifold side of the switch. I'm going to turn my gas back on over here at the gas valve. Which is still going to show zero because this switch is closed and it won't draw for gas until the unit comes on. It won't ask for gas until the unit comes on. So let me go fire the unit back up and we'll see what it reads. It won't open the valve so it calls for gas. Watch the gauge. Should go any second here. There we go. So we can see there, it's, where is it? We can see there it's running at 9.9, 9.85. That's probably okay. It's not going to hurt the unit to run a tenth low it, on something like this propane. You want it to run a little bit cleaner. You don't want to run it too rich. So I'm going to say 9.9 .9 is probably close enough to 10. It's going to be all right. A little bit of lean, running just a hair lean is not going to hurt it. So, I think it's dialed in pretty good. Um, I, could, I could bump it up just a hair more and get it right at 10. I'm gonna go out, I'll go out, just for, for your grins and giggles, I'll go out and I'll give it just a hair more on the regulator. We'll see if we can get it right at 10. So watch this. Oops, that's not what I want. Here goes screwdriver. Watch it, I'll be right back. Alright, so now I went out and bumped it just a hair more. Now we're running 989, 987. Went up just a hair. I mean, like I said, it's not going to hurt if the run like a 10th lean. It's not, no big deal. It's, it's got a nice blue flame, if you can see in here. Nice blue flame. I think that's about close enough. It's been running fine. It was running, you know, probably before we did this, probably like nine and a half before, and it was running fine. So we're, we're dialed right in now close. I'm just running just a tiny little bit lean. It should be fine. Nine, there we go. We're nine, nine. I'm already tenth off. What's it? Um, my friend at work let me use this. He's an HVAC guy. He said running lean is not really going to hurt it too much. The tenth lean is fine here. So I think I'm going to leave it set now. And I can compare my gauge. I can watch it as long as it's hanging around about about 10 on the gauge. It's 9.89. And I mean, it's close. So as long as I'm not running like down at eight and a half or something like that, where it's way too lean on the on the on the analog gauge here, as long as I'm not running really lean, this will help me out. So I can watch it. And just the shade over 10 on that gauge is 9.9 .9 here. So it's got a nice blue flame. It's making nice heat. I think we're going to be good. So that's just a quick shot. If you can get your hands on a manometer, you can set up your furnace. Um, they make them digital like this, or they have older style ones or analog. Or get yourself a good analog gauge like this. You can plug, you can plumb this in with an analog gauge. But I've got access to this uh, tool from work, 
and uh, the guy showed me how to use it. So I think we're burning pretty nice here. So I'm glad I went through and checked it just to make sure it's good. So that's about it. This is the final series, the final part. I know I had part four as a finale, but I forgot the step. So here is a post script to part four, this is part five. And this thing's working awesome so far. I've only gone through. Um, the, the tank was uh, like almost 100% full when I started almost three weeks ago. I'm down to like 85%, keeping the garage at 40 degrees when I'm not working, and I bump it up to 60 when I'm in here working. So it's it, it's working out fantastic. It's not using a lot of gas. It's it's been cold out a couple days. It was down to like five degrees on one day. So. It's working good. I'm really happy with it. It's make it's, it's night and day difference not coming in here and having the whole place be frozen. It, it's awesome. So it's well worth it. I don't know what it's going to cost. I got to wait till the whole winter to go get an idea what it's going to cost. But I can't imagine even if it's a hundred dollars a month or so, it's well worth it to me because I went through fifty dollars a month in kerosene on my salamander heater, and I was always freezing to death in here. So. A hundred dollars a month to me is well worth it, at least to be able to heat the garage. So I'm happy with it, and that's about it. So thanks for watching. How about you see the spinning guy here? I'm gonna put a circle right on there. Bang! Hit that to subscribe and uh, like, share, and uh, tell your friends. I'm putting out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so there's always something to look forward to. And as always, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again here at the Quick Speed Shop.